Okay, so for this um, Wednesday wrap-up, um, if I met someone with no perceived ideas about American music, um, I would talk to them about, like, if they've ever heard of, like, the Revolutionary War, not to sound kind of rude, but that was, like, obviously where America was born, and, like, um, like that's where America started to begin defining itself, and, like, American music was one of those ways that they defined themselves. Um <clears throat> excuse me, um, it's amazing, like, from, like, how we started, how many different genres we have today, like, just from, like, the development of what you could call was, like, classical British music, um, for example, during what was called the Jazz Age, as many people know, America was able to mix ideas of what was going on historically, um, during that time period, and what was up and coming, like, the um, all the brass instruments, the piano, like, all those jazz artists. And then another example, um, where American music is really, I feel like, defined is during, um, rock and, the rock and roll age, of course. Um, America was very known for its, uh, rock and roll age, I feel. And then to go back to the jazz age example, it helps support my assertion of American music because it is special to America. I feel like jazz music was created because, as I said before, like, the brass instruments were very popular and, like, what was going on historically, such as, like, the, um, prohibition on alcohol, um, so, like, speakeasies were created and at these speakeasies they were, like, nightclubs and that's where, like, a lot of the jazz music was performed. Um, it was also, like, a lot of African-American artists came up at that time, which was good and defining for America because, like, that whole, obviously, slavery. So, like, I feel like Jazz Age um, is a really good way to, like, speak to someone about um, uh, American music and how we defined ourselves here in America. So, yeah.